All right, geometry lesson one dash two, introduction to transformation. That's what this whole unit is about. So I guess it's time to properly introduce it. Today's date is August twenty seventh, two thousand and twenty. Um, our objective for the day. Who would like to go read that one? Wyatt's first. Go for it, Wyatt. Determine if an image was created using a translation, rotation, reflection, or dilation. Ooh, yeah, four of those things. So you need to know the difference between all of them. Um, these are all the four transformations, the only four transformations that you need to know for this unit. I think they're the only four Cartesian things you can do. Yeah, so um, anyway, vocab, let's get started. Source, and I, I'm told that you've learned this stuff before, or maybe Jay just went too far. Yes, we else. have. Okay, perfect. So source, it's the points. What's the word that means not... Uh, yeah, you'll probably figure this out. The point, something, a transformation is applied. I'm looking for a timely word in here. It's not after, but Jade, yes. Before. Yeah. The points before a transformation is applied. So it's kind of like the, the original, the OG um, shape that you're talking about. So if I ever talk about source, I'm just talking about, hey, it's the, the shape, and then we're about to do some sort of transformation to it. And then some people call that the pre-image, so I'll put, um, there's not really enough room, maybe I'll put off here, or, oh, maybe underneath. Some people, instead of using the word source, they call it the pre-image, which is equally correct. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I think Khan Academy uses source, so that's why I use it. I'm used to using pre-image though in college. Um, so pre-image or source just means before the image. And then the image is, okay, we have applied a transformation. So the word here is pretty straightforward. Who's got it, Charles? After. After, yep. After the transformation, cool. So um, let's go ahead and talk about some notation. Um, how do we actually annotate these things? So if I had some sort of point, like point A, and then I did a transformation, I don't care what transformation it was, but I did some sort of transformation, it turns into A prime. And I, I read this thing as A prime, A prime. And it's not a one, it's, it's slightly diagonal. And I'll write prime over here in case you forget it, prime. I read this thing A prime. And then if I did another transformation on top of A prime, I would have A prime prime. And then if I did another transformation, I would have A prime prime prime. I'd have three of those little tick things. Um, oh, well, I have a box over here how to say this. So this is pronounced A prime. I guess I should have just read ahead. I, I'm ready. You pronounce this thing A prime. Um, what if I have a shape? A shape like triangle Z, Y, X. If I have a triangle ZYX and I do some sort of transformation, it's still gonna be triangle. Does anyone want to take a guess at what's gonna happen here? Sorry, Charles, I'm gonna call on someone that is other than you. You just did last time. Uh, Ulysses, yeah. Uh, would it like switch, like yeah, the order? It. Uh, it actually stays in the same order, but you're gonna add primes somehow. How do you think it's going to go? Would it be like Z prime, Y prime, X prime? It is Z prime, Y prime, X prime. You got it. Y prime, X prime. I was hoping you'd make a mistake and I could catch you and only put it on one of them. But yeah, so every single point is going to be primed. So there's a point Z, point Y, point X. Each of those new points is in a new spot. Um, and then <laughs> it's kind of funny to say, but you say triangle. Um, I have a question. Oh yeah, go for it, Charles. Could you put the ZYX in parentheses and then have a prime off outside of it? <laughs> to distribute the prime? Uh, it's, it's not very common um, among mathematicians, so you'd be kind of the, the lone wolf saying that. But I mean, I, I feel like it makes sense. The whole idea of math is do whatever makes sense. So uh, triangle Z prime, Y prime. Oh my God, my handwriting is getting terrible. Y prime, Z prime. Wait, X prime. I don't know how I have X two Z's. Yeah. <laughs> X prime. There we go. Um, and then this is like a pretty straightforward one. If I have line segment PQ, pretty easy there. It turns into what? Asha? P 
PQ prime. Yep. So, uh, oh, I think you might have said it wrong. Oh, P, P prime, Q prime. There it is. Yeah, P prime, Q prime, and you read this as line. line. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Asha. Okay, cool. It's time to learn your four different transformations now that we know how to read notation. And I'm um, just kind of, oh yeah, question? Well, I just haven't copied all those graphs down yet. Could you go? Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna scroll down to all of those four graphs and it doesn't matter that they're in the exact right coordinates and maybe I can zoom out so you can see all of them. Just give a rough sketch um, of each of them. Notice that um, this sketch over here it's um, the lines are kind of perpendicular to the y-axis and perpendicular to the x-axis and then this triangle it's all diagonally so it's kind of weird um, notice that um, this one also is kind of weirdly diagonal this one obviously one is bigger than the other and once we learn about properties of each of these then it makes more sense on exactly what's happening here um, yeah but for now we're just gonna learn these guys so you already have a bank of words to choose from. Um, if you go, uh, if you wrote down the objective, you have them written down in your notes, but our objective today set, uh, stated, determine if an image was created using, okay, and these are the four things we're gonna assign to these graphs in a random order, uh, translation, rotation, reflection, or dilation. One of those goes to each of these. You have to figure out which one goes to where. It's the, the match game. Cool, so, and this is where you guys get to take a guess. So you have a 25% chance on this first one. Is it a translation, a rotation, a reflection, or a dilation? Take a guess. First one, top left. Oh. Yeah, what? Would that be a translation? It is indeed a translation. So we'll go up here and say, this is a translation. And if you don't like the word translation, I'm sorry, you have to use it. But another synonym that's easier is move. Move without rotating, just to kind of slide it down. And you can see that I started at A, B, C, and then I moved to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So I actually did a translation and if I have a straight line, it's actually easier to say C too. But I went from this B to this B prime, from this C to this C prime, from this A to this A prime. And you can tell that each of these vectors, each of these arrows that I'm drawing here are exactly the same length and the same angle. So you really needed to be thinking about the point point moved to another point, not necessarily the shape, but each individual point got moved in the same exact way. Okay, then we have another graph. I don't know, we can go to the right or left one, or right or down. Um, let's go right, let's go to this one. What do we think this one is? So translation, you can cross that one off from the objective, we've seen that one. What about a rotation, reflection, or dilation? We'll go with Charles. On the, the one on the right, I believe is rotation. It is a rotation. And we're doing just the basics today. Eventually I'm gonna go way more into depth on like, how do you find the center of rotation? How do you find how many degrees it was rotated and stuff like that just from a picture like this? Um, but I, I, I'm pretty sure when I made this that I was rotating around the origin nice and easy. So I rotated um, this counterclockwise, which is actually the positive direction. For some reason, mathematicians always think counterclockwise is the, the true way that clocks should go. Um, that's our positive direction. I, I started here with triangle A, B, C, and then I rotated and created triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Um, if you don't like the word rotation, I, I think everyone's okay with rotation, but if another synonym that's maybe a little bit easier is twist.
and you can probably tell what goes next. Kira? Um, I guess this one would be a reflection. It is indeed a reflection. And eventually we're going to be talking about how do you find the exact line of reflection? How can you prove that it's a reflection versus maybe not a reflection? Um, you can kind of just eyeball this one. Um, this one is going to be a reflection um, that goes like this over this um, orange line that I've drawn um, generally look like that. Um, another, I'm always trying to like put in synonyms here to help people out. Uh, my synonym here would be a mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. We mirrored A, B, C. We reflected points A, B, and C that made the triangle A, B, C to A prime, B prime, C prime. So um, the, the way that I like to annotate this one is it kind of like hops, hops once and then hops again. This B hopped once and hopped again. And then A hopped once and hopped again. Instead of just doing a straight line so you don't confuse it for a translation. Um, and then, I mean, just, oh yeah, go for it. Uh, can I have my camera off because my Wi-Fi is really bad and I have to use my neighbors and their <laughs> Wi-Fi isn't good either. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's fun. Uh, it just means you'll have to use the Skype interface to, to raise your hand. So it'll be a little bit slower to try to click before everyone else. Yeah. But thanks for letting me know. Yep. Um, and then what is this last one? Ulysses. Uh, would it be dilation? It is indeed dilation. And you can think of this one as like a, a grow or shrink. So I'll use those synonyms grow. Oh, I can't spell grow slash shrink, depending on what dilation factor you're using. Um, and I, so, yeah, it's not, oh yeah, what's your question? Could you think of it like scale, like it's scale up or down? Oh, that's a good one word way of doing it. Yeah, let's do scale. Okay. Um, the way that you can think about this one too, if you're thinking of in terms of lines, is I don't know where this line is gonna end up, but you're kind of making everything grow or shrink or scale through one certain point. So you can see that my, my point of dilation over here is over here at um, zero comma five in this case. It, it doesn't matter exactly where it is, but you can tell that they all kind of intersect through one point of dilation. So I would say that this is my point of dilation. Well, I mean, I basically showed you how to find it right there, but there's a more proofy way of doing it later. Okay, so again, more graphs are about to come. Um, go ahead and raise your hand if you need a little bit more time to write these down. Looks like Hazi is still writing. Emma's raising her hand. Okay, yeah, go ahead. And it, again, these are just rough sketches. You don't need, you don't even really need to have an axis um, for these. Um, and in fact, the, the next side of my notes are just gonna have some grid paper. Um, so you don't need an X axis, don't need a Y axis. You just need to roughly draw these shapes. Can I get a peek at the next page so that I can see kind of what I'm gonna do? Oh, okay. Cool, thanks Emma. Um, I feel like Hazi's still writing and why it's still whiting, whiting, writing. Silly wabbit. Uh, Mr. Sindel, I'm actually writing the back page, so. Oh, you're going on, okay. Cool, I think I'm just waiting for um, Hazi. Just give me the thumbs up, Hazi, when you're ready to move on. Cool, cool, all right, on to the backside. 
Um, again, you don't need to write all this down for your notes. So you can, for example, if I were taking notes, I would write E, here, I'll write underneath what I would have written. I would have written EX1, example one. And then instead of writing all of this question, I would ask transformation? What transformation are you using? And then I wouldn't even write down A, B, C, or D, and then I just write the answer, and then I draw these shapes. So literally, I've boiled all this down into EX1 transformation, write down generally the shapes. Those are your notes for this first one. That's how to condense your notes. So I'll give you guys a few minutes to get example one and example two copied down. All right, so what are we thinking for example one? Translation, rotation, reflection, dilation. You got a one of four chance, Hazi. D. D, dilation, you are correct, yeah. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Dilation is the only one that's gonna make it get bigger or smaller. So good job, yeah. All right, then we're on to example two. Um, what single transformation was applied to triangle A to get triangle B? Let's go with Kira. Uh, rotation. Rotation, yes, you are correct. Is there anyone that thought it might have been a reflection? Because that's a, a pretty common mistake to make on this one. Yeah, I thought I'd say that first. Okay, yeah, Which and one? then oh, example two, no. uh, for example two, yeah, because it, it's it's uh, really first. close, right? If you reflect it over this line, but then this tip right here would be jump here and jump right about there. The the tip is like missing. It's it should have been right about here and then come down like that and it didn't. So that's why it's not a reflection. It's rotation, right? It is indeed a rotation, yeah. It's rotated around some point right about there. And then we have example three. Have I called on everyone yet? I don't think I've called on Ugo. Ugo, this one's yours. Example three. Um, it's reflection. It is indeed a reflection. Yep. And again, if you were to, if you have a ruler or a pencil that you can just like kind of lay down on your paper and test it out, could that be a mirror? And it looks pretty darn close to, yeah, that is a mirror. And again, you always want to think of like the, the hopping action. If I hop here and here, that looks good. If I'm hopping, here and here, here and here, here and here. All those hops are consistent. Yeah, so this is exactly what you're doing for the homework. The homework goes really, really quick, guys. Um, so I, I feel bad that we spent so long on the notes when it was kind of a, I don't know, I don't wanna say too easy in case that you feel like this was hard, but um, there's no, math algebra stuff that you have to like, solve a problem. It's more like logical, like look at this and try to figure out what it is type of thing. Um, cool, so uh, those are the notes. I don't know if I said this already, but our, I can, I'll keep sharing this screen, but our notes that are supposed to be uploaded to Google Slides, I'm checking that tomorrow. So your notes for 1-1 and now this 1-2 with both summaries need to be uploaded to Google Slides by tomorrow. That is going into Aries as a grade. In theory, I'm gonna be checking it every Friday. If you guys are really, really good about it, I can maybe expand that to every two weeks, I'll check. If you're bad about it, I'm gonna start checking it every single day, which is gonna be tedious for both you and me. So make sure all of your stuff is in there um, for notes on Friday by tomorrow. I'll check. I'll probably check it like Friday night. Um, yeah, are there any questions on this lesson? No, all right, so you guys can turn your cameras off if you like, go ahead and work on Khan Academy. It'll go quick. So when you finish Khan Academy, you can like stretch, move around, do whatever, but stay in the Zoom room until I dismiss you guys. 
Um, thumbs up from Emma. Okay, and if you guys have any questions, you can always ask. I'm going to stop sharing my screen until someone screams at me. No one is screaming, and that's the end of the recording.